What's up everybody? In today's 60 second tech tip, we're gonna use our multimeter to take an open circuit voltage reading on our car battery. An open circuit voltage test means that the vehicle's not running and there's no load on the battery at the time of the test. Now, before we get too far, we wanna make sure there's no surface charge on the battery, especially if the vehicle is just running or you had a charger attached to the battery. The surface charge can give a bit of a false positive or an elevated open circuit voltage reading. If it's an AGM battery in your vehicle, you want to make sure you let it set for between 10 and 12 hours to let that surface charge dissipate. If it's a standard flooded battery, you should only have to let it sit for about 30 minutes. If you don't have the time, another trick to dissipate the surface charge is simply turn on the headlights or some other accessory that draws load. For headlights, leave them on for between 15 to 30 seconds. Then make sure your test leads are connected, turn on your multimeter, and set the function selector switch to a DC voltage of 20. Then take a second to pet your neighbor's cat when they come over to see what you're doing. Admittedly, this step is optional. You can skip it. With your test leads appropriately connected to both the ground and positive terminals on your battery, you should get an open circuit voltage reading. I've included some charts on the screen that allow you to take that open circuit voltage reading and translate it into a rough state of charge for your battery. The state of charge will give you an idea of how full your battery is based on capacity and it can be an indicator of overall battery health. If in doubt, refer to your multimeter owner's manual or your battery's manufacturer for additional information. That's all we've got time for today. I hope this video is helpful. Thanks for watching Trash Panda Garage.